Have you ever had the sudden urge to just leave your house and fly to Paris for dinner? Pack your backpack, walk out your back door, onto your Boeing 707, and be up in the air and on your way to Paris in under 30 minutes? That's what famous movie legend John Travolta has the capability to do at a moment's notice. His late wife Kelly Preston said, It's always John's dream to have planes in his front yard, to practically be able to pull up to the house, so that when you wanted to go to dinner, all you'd have to do was step out the door, get on the plane, and whisk off. Michael Eisner was Travolta's first dinner guest, and he looked at their planes and said, I get it. Within an hour, we can be on our way to Paris. Pretty insane thinking about all the possibilities you could do putting yourself in that situation. Before we get into this video, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. I'll be trying my best to keep this weekly uploading schedule, so bear with me. Now, let's get into the video of Inside John Travolta's Airport Mansion. John Travolta and his wife Kelly Preston were one of the first couples to purchase land in the Jumbo Lair Aviation Estates, the residential air park where they live. In the front drive of the residence, which was designed by architect Dana Smith, he likes to show off his 1957 Thunderbird. In the entrance hall, it features a motif in the floor designed by John Travolta himself. The great room is finished with curved window walls that look onto the tarmac. In his living room, above the mantelpiece, is a 1967 work of art by Alexander Calder. In the dining room, there is a mural copied by Sandra Hillard from a 1937 advertisement in Fortune. The pool cabana is known as a grown-up playroom. John wanted to use it for dancing, which is why it has a big open space and stone flooring. It also features a 1989 painting showing his Learjet. In Travolta's office, it features his Quantas 747 pilot certificate, his American Airlines Boeing 707 pilot certificate, and an award for excellence in aviation from the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and a photograph of the actor in his ultralight over Florida. Family photographs, books, and airplane models are displayed on shelves in the main hall as well. Travolta says, this is an overbuilt home, the walls are thicker than they need to be, and there's more metal in it than there needs to be. The master bedroom is described as serene, with Pindler and Pindler drapery fabric. In one of the bathrooms there is a poster from the movie Pulp Fiction. Construction of this mansion lasted two years, but the plan took on and off about six years. Travolta said they moved into the guest quarters for a while to oversee it. Although the property came equipped with a 7500 foot runway, Travolta had it extended to reach his house. There are two runways that lead directly to his front door. Now let's talk about Travolta's airplanes and his flying experience. For starters, Travolta has the highest pilot medical certification possible and he is qualified to fly several different types of single and multi-engine aircraft. His pride and joy is his Boeing 707-138B, which was built in 1964. It was constructed at Boeing Seattle and has Boeing construction number 18740 line 388. On September 10, 1964, the first owner of the plane became Qantas. It was primarily used for routes from Sydney to Asia in North and South America. Travolta was only 10 years old at the time, and he first became enamored of aviation at that point as a child. He observed flight paths of the nearest airports, read books on aviation, and took special interest in constellations, DC-6s and DC-7s. November 1st, 1968. The plane was withdrawn from use and stored engineless at Sydney Airport. The same year in June, it was already cancelled from the Australian Aircraft Register. From February 24th, 1972 till 1975, the plane was actually owned by the legend Frank Sinatra. At that point in 1975, it was sold back to Boeing and then in June 2002, the 707 finally returned home to Qantas. Since Travolta participated in the Qantas Spirit of Friendship Tour, because it was always his dream to be involved with a major airline in some way. Since earning his wings in 1974, he has logged close to an astounding 5,000 flying hours. A fun fact is that literally every cent of his first paycheck went to his flying lessons. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far and haven't yet, please hit that like button and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.